Lord, give me the patience to deal with these bitches because they're getting very bold. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, hey girly, I'm Nessa and today's video is going to be a raging story time because somebody just robbed me. If you see my eye like twitching and my mouth kind of like crinkling, it's because I'm that mad and I cannot control my facial expressions right now. Now, this was partially my fault because I am lazy AF. I do not organize, I do not clean. I am really, really lazy. Now, you're not gonna find, you know, sausages and hot dogs and hamburgers like laid all around my room. It's not that kind of messy. I don't do that kind of stuff. I just don't like to put my laundry away. <laughs> and it ends up being a bundle in the corner of my room. Like I usually do when I end up getting lazy like that, it happens about once every three months. Um, I hire somebody either from TaskRabbit, which is an app where, no, this is not sponsored, this sounds so sponsored. It's just an app where you can hire people to either clean or mount your TV or walk your dog, just random stuff. Or I'll find somebody from a friend who they've like had their apartment cleaned by this person. Or, you know, I have this reliable guy that I would always go through. My old apartment, he always came maybe like once every two weeks just to do like a little tidy up because I told you guys I'm lazy. Now, some people are probably thinking that I'm paying $300, $400, you guys. It's not expensive. It's literally like 10 or 20 bucks an hour depending on the person. So, no, I'm not like putting out bucks because bitch, if it was $400, I'll clean myself. Now, instead of going through my reliable guy, instead of going through TaskRabbit, I meet this lady in the hallway that I've seen multiple times. She's cleaned other people's apartments. I've seen her in the elevators. I've seen her outside the building. Just, I've seen this woman all over the place. Now you might be thinking, Vanessa, why didn't you go through your reliable source? Because if I go through the reliable source, I already know his car information. I got his license plate. I got a picture of him just in case. And if I go through TaskRabbit, I am covered by like up to a million dollars or something if some shit goes down. I think that's what the site, the site said when I signed up a while ago. But the fact that I would, you know, be safer going with these alternatives and I still went with this person over here makes absolutely no sense. And that's why things like this happen. So one day while I was getting out of the elevator, I was going to Denzel's apartment. I saw her and I was like, hey, how much do you charge? Because I see you with like all your cleaning supplies. Are you um, a cleaning service? And she proceeds to tell me, yes, me and my daughter clean people's houses and or houses and apartments and I charge $15 an hour so I'm over here like okay 15 bucks an hour that's actually a really good deal because it's not going to take that long to clean all of this mess that I have literally you can get it all done within an hour and a half so hey that's what like 20 25 bucks not that bad and I like to have my friends come over I like to have company and they are never allowed in my room because it is always a complete disaster so I just wanted to get it done so we're gonna call the cleaner A, because I can't come up with a name. A was supposed to come and clean my apartment this morning. This was the first time that she would ever be in my apartment. She's never been in here. She didn't know what unit I was in. She just asked me how many bedrooms and what needs to be done. Now keep in mind, I got the information from her about three and a half weeks ago, about a month ago. So I haven't called her yet. It took me about a month to eventually decide, hey, stop being cheap and lazy and just get it done. So I talked to her the other day and I said, hey, can you come in on Saturday morning around like 7.30, 8 a.m. because I want to, you know, continue on with my day and I'll let you like stay here while I go and get breakfast or something. But the other guy that usually cleans my apartment, I don't really care because I know he's not going to steal from me. He's, you know, been in my home probably at least like 20 times by now. Like not just this home, but I mean like my other apartment as well. So I trust the guy. And then with TaskRabbit, like I said, if they try to steal something, I can report them. So I am so used to just like letting the people come in and out that I wasn't ever like you know, really thinking. I never really thought like, oh, they're going to rob me. No, I thought they're just trying to, you know, make a living and move on with their day. So I get a knock on my door around like 6.45. I was scheduled for her to come at 7 a.m., but she was a little bit early, which was not a problem. So I woke up James so he wouldn't like, you know, feel like awkward with somebody else like in the house. And me and him were just chilling in the living room while she started to clean everything. Now the goal was for her just to do my bathroom and my um, bedroom. I didn't want her doing the living room or doing James rooms because I was paying for it. So I just wanted like my stuff done. So make sure you remember that. Remember that she was not supposed to be in James room in the first place. She, she was told just to go in this room and in this room, that was it. Or this bathroom, nothing else. I know some people like to stay while people are cleaning their house, but to be honest, it makes me feel so awkward just like sitting there being lazy as fuck on the couch while somebody's like going hard at it actually cleaning. So I always like to, you know, at least step out, go inside of the e-lounge that we have at this apartment complex or go down to the pool or go to Starbucks or just get out. I decide, hey, it's early in the morning. I'm going to go and get myself once again. <laughs> 
McDonald's breakfast. I got myself the big breakfast with the hotcakes. I got a sausage burrito. I got a hash brown and I also got a large orange juice. Mm -hmm. I finished my McDonald's in my car because I'm a loser and I was eating in there by myself. Even though James pranked me and put Miralax in my Starbucks, I'm still a really nice person and a nice roommate. So I asked him if he wants any Starbucks. And if you don't know what Miralax is, it's something that makes you shit a lot. So I call him and I'm like, do you want anything from Starbucks? And he tells me that he actually already left and he went to go and get something from somewhere else. I'm like, okay, guess I'm not getting you anything. Me and James are the most annoying roommates. We literally share one key. So if somebody is over here and somebody's all the way over here to get back in the apartment, you gotta have the key. So we have to like decide who's gonna get home first and who's gonna, you know, leave last. And it's just a mess we are so lazy. We can literally go down to the leasing office anytime and get another key. But for some reason we don't. So I decided to stay in Starbucks for about like 15, 20 minutes so he can go and run his errands and then we can both get back into the apartment again because like I said, we're a mess and we don't get an extra key. So after chilling in Starbucks for about 20, 25 minutes, James finally texts me and tells me, hey, I'm in the lobby. Can you come so we can, you know, both go back up now. So I go. I can't really remember what we were laughing at, but we were laughing for some reason. And as we walked in, the what do I call her, A? The person that was cleaning my house was in the middle of my kitchen just standing there and she looked so shocked. It's like she got caught doing something that she wasn't supposed to. And I'm like, hey, is everything, you know, going well so far? She said, yeah, 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 it's fine. And she comes back and runs into my room. So me and James are over here like, okay. Like it was such an awkward situation. Like us just walking in and her being like, oh, like it was, it was weird. So about 15 minutes pass and I'm just chilling watching Netflix on the couch. James is over here getting ready in his bathroom or whatever. And she comes over and she says, hey, I need to get to my car real quick. Um, can you like take me down there so I can, you know, go and grab something. So I'm like, okay, that's cool, whatever. I go put my shoes on. And as I'm about to like walk out the door, I see her pick up a black bag. It looked like a black Jansport. Like it didn't say Jansport on it, but it was just like a regular black Jansport like backpack and I'm like okay I don't know where that came from she said she was gonna grab something but it looks like she's taking something so I take her all the way down to her car and I bring her all the way back up because like I said you have to have the key to be able to be in the building and go around the building so I had to go down literally literally took her down to her car where she proceeded to put items that she stole from me into her car and took her back up so it's like I was an accomplice helping her right but at the time I didn't know that she robbed me. So we come back up and it's like, she's so like nervous and so like antsy. I'm like, are you okay? Like, would you like some coffee? Would you like some water, tea, something? Cause she was acting just really strange and it was starting to make me feel really sketchy because I have dealt with so many things in my life that I'm like, okay, did this woman rob me? I'm already thinking at this point, did she steal something of mine? Did she take something? Like, why is she acting so like antsy and so nervous? She ends up turning down all of my drink options bougie ass and then continues to clean in my room bathroom whatever I'm out there about 30 minutes pass and she's done because like I said it wasn't like that big of a mess so it only took her about like an hour hour and a half I end up being a night <sighs> and this is what really pisses me off I probably owed her like $25 but I paid her 50 so the fact that I was like oh she did a good job like let me be nice and give her extra money and she robbed me so after she leaves me being the lazy fuck that I am I go back to bed. I wake up, James is in the bathroom on Instagram Live. I go out, sit on the couch, and I'm like, wow, it just feels so good to have a clean like room now. It feels so nice. So I'm standing in the kitchen and James is telling me, oh my gosh, Vanessa, like you should not have to, you know, be paying somebody to come and clean. Why don't you just be clean? Why are you messy? Like he's over here lecturing me like my mother. And he says, you know, I found your Chanel purse in my room on the floor. Like you're just a mess. You're not putting things where they should be. You're not taking care of your items. And I'm like, yes, dad, I know. Thank you, dad. So because my closet was all organized and cute, I was like, hey, let me go and get the bag so I can put it in there so it could just look all put together and all cute. So James says, oh, I left it on the white dresser. So I go into his room and the bag is not on the dresser. So I start kind of like looking around his room and I'm like, hey, it's not here. Like, did you like put it somewhere else? Did you put it in the closet? Like, it's not here. So James comes into his room and me and him are searching everywhere. I come into my room and I'm like, oh, maybe she put it in there already, but it wasn't in there. So now at this point, I'm starting to freak out. If you guys know, Chanel is not a cheap brand and I definitely did save my money to buy that bag. So of course I'm over here hurt. I'm like about to have a freaking panic attack and start crying. Not because I'm materialistic, because honestly, y'all can take all of this away from me and I'll still be trill. But trill? Did I just say trill? I'll still be chillin'. <laughs> but the fact that it's something that I like worked for and 
it's gone now. I was starting to freak out. So I'm over here like panicking, looking everywhere, and I can't find the bag. So I start really searching my room. I'm like, let me see if anything else is missing just in case. Because if something else is missing, I'm calling this bitch and we're fighting. So because I'm already worried, hey, like this bag is gone. So did she actually steal from me? Is there anything else missing? So I go inside my closet. I notice all of my little diamond chokers are missing. None of them are real, you guys. I got them for like... Five bucks, three bucks at Charlie Russe and Forever 21. So the fact that she still stole my fucking diamond chokers that are made of plastic bewilders me. I was also missing my Givenchy phone case and my Gucci slides. And I know some of you are like, damn, Vanessa, look at all these brands. I didn't buy them all at once, you guys. It was over time, obviously, because I'm sorry. I don't, I don't roll that way. I'm cheap. And I don't like to point the finger at people because, you know, I'm, like I said, kind of messy. So sometimes I misplace things. But the fact that I just got my place cleaned and now stuff is actually missing, I'm going to accuse you. I'm sorry. Like, I don't mean to be that bitch, but I'm going to accuse you. So I start texting her. I'm like, hey, are you still in the area? Um, I'm, I have a problem, blah, 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 blah. She's not answering. So I start calling her. And after probably like the fifth time of me trying to call her, she finally picks up and I'm like, hey, I'm missing things from my apartment. Do you know anything about that? And it goes silent and she hangs up. So I'm over here calling and calling and calling her again and it probably takes me about like 15 or 16 times for her to finally pick up the fucking phone. And I'm like, hey girl, like, I think you stole from me. Not think, I know, you're acting suspicious. I'm gonna call the cops right now. I have your phone number. I know what car you're driving. Remember, I took you down there. I know what you're driving. I would literally call the cops and have them find your ass. And she's like, ooh, 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 and she hangs up again. So I decide, I'm gonna give this bitch one more time. I'm gonna give her one more chance to not hang up on me before I call these police. Either way, the police are being called, but I'm gonna try to lure her in first. So after calling her about 16 more times, she finally picks up the phone and she's like, I'm so sorry. I just wanted to get my daughter some stuff. I wanted to give my daughter some things. I'm so sorry. I'm on my way back. I'll bring everything back to you. And I'm like, but the fact that you stole from me and thought it was okay, just, just because you're bringing it back doesn't mean everything's gonna be all right. But yes, come back. She parks her car and I go straight to her and I'm like, what the fuck? Like, why would you rob me? Why would you steal from me? I literally hire you to come and clean my apartment. I even tell you that you did an amazing job. I pay you extra. And I even say that like, I would like to keep in touch for you to come again because you did such a good job. So you robbed me and you think like, like, okay, you guys, I got my shit back. But the fact that like, she was so nice and I was so nice to her. I paid her extra. Like I know like some people might be like, okay, Vanessa, you paid her like an extra $30, whoop de doo But to some people that could be a lot of money. That could be part of their rent that they needed. Like that could actually help somebody. Like that's the way I think because I remember having what, like $700 in my bank account and my rent being 850 and I'm like, fuck, <laughs> how am I gonna pay my rent? So after yelling at this lady for about five minutes, James ends up down there as well, cause I'm texting him, I'm like, get your ass down here, like I'm about to fight this bitch, like she stole my shit. So James goes down there and he's like, did you take anything from me since we're here? Did you take anything from me? And it turns out, hold on, this bitch stole these fucking overalls, y'all. She said, I'm so sorry, I took your overalls. First of all, these are mine. Me and James have this thing where we share each other's clothes because I'm a big bitch, I'm tall, so my shit kind of fits him. So now James is mad at the fact that she even went in his room. He's like, why were you in my room? You weren't supposed to be in my room. You weren't supposed to be in my room. So we're over here just arguing back and forth. So I decided, you know what? Let me just call the cops. So I call the cops, they send one officer over. So the officer gives me two different options. He says, one, I can come with them right now, both of them down to the station and we talk about it. Or he can take her and then I eventually go down there either later on today in the afternoon or tomorrow. So I end up coming back up to my apartment. I get ready and then I tell James I'm going to go. I told him he didn't have to come with me because, I mean, she didn't really steal from him. She stole from his room, but technically, technically it was my items. So I told him he didn't have to come and he already had plans to go and do something with um, Kelly, I think. So I was like, you can go ahead and do your stuff. I'll deal with this. So I go down to the police station and I fill out a bunch of forms and I basically file a police report against this woman for robbing me. So after talking to the police officer and filling out all these forms, I'm asking him, I'm like, hey, like, does that mean she has to stay here overnight? She told me she has a daughter. And he laughed at me. He actually said, the fact that she robbed you and you're still thinking about her daughter is so funny to me and you're such a good person. I was like, yeah, something like that. But he told me that he has no idea. It's up to whatever other people say. Like, I really don't know. But they said that she is going to definitely be staying there overnight because of what she did. So I'll definitely keep you guys updated if she ends up going to jail or prison or whatever if I have to testify in court. I've never dealt with something like this. I've only dealt with like stalkers and doing restraining orders and stuff like that. But I've never had somebody like 
Actually, like, that's so dirty. Like, that's so fucking dirty. I feel like every time, like, I try to make, like, a positive thing happen in my life, I try to switch my life around and be more happy, like, something breaks, something bad happens, my car has issues, like, Penny gets sick, like, something bad always happens every time I try to, like, you know, be positive in my life. But yeah, that's basically everything that happened. I'm super annoyed right now, I'm in a really bad mood. Um, I think I'm gonna go and get sushi and just like stuff my face by myself because honestly I'm just like so triggered I don't even want to be around other people. I already have such bad trust issues So the fact that I let this woman in and she did me dirty like that like <sighs> So that's it for this video. I'll keep you guys updated with everything that happens um, I'm probably gonna have to talk to the police again. Well, not probably definitely I'm going to have to talk to the police again because I'm sorry I don't know if she's gonna do this to other people or if she has already done this to other people, so I'm gonna do what I need to do to get this bitch some justice. So moral of the story is be careful who you trust, be careful who you let into your home, and use reliable sources who are not going to rob you or steal from you. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, subscribe for more. Um, I'll keep you guys updated on Snapchat, so make sure you add me on Snapchat. At Vanessa Gabriella, it's right here on the screen. Make sure you add me so you guys know everything that's going on or whatever. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.